You are too concerned with what was and what will be. There's a saying. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel again. This is me, Madhur Bokana, and welcome to Tech Chi. So in this video, I will be talking about all the important things which uh, you know the new aspirants should keep in mind, keep in their mind. All the important things about the subjects, about the exam, and uh, uh, I will be you know basically guiding them uh, towards their preparation for the IIT JE exam. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So. Uh, as a new aspirant, like the 9th class students and the 10th class students, uh, you have ample of time in your hands. Like you have literally, you have uh, three to four years in your hands for the 9th class students and for the 10th class students. So first of all, all I want to say is just focus on your boards. Give them the first priority for the 10th class students. Focus on your boards. Give them the first priority. And uh, once you are done with uh, the preparation of the boards for the boards and uh, all the things which you are confident with like once you are confident with all the, in all the topics then you can start uh, reading about for JE exam and uh, for the ninth class students I suggest you all to you know uh, balance the studies for the ninth class and the JE studies the mains and advanced so you do that thing because you don't have boards in ninth class so you can do that thing you can balance the ninth class part and the JE exam part and uh, you can do one more thing like once you're done with the schooling uh, your schooling time period then uh, after you get home you can prepare for JE you can uh, start solving uh, you know the questions and all start solving the less uh, reading the lessons and all the stuff so yes uh, now when it comes to the subject part like uh, which subject should I start first for all the 9th and 10th class? I just suggest you all to start mathematics and physics because uh, you know mathematics and physics are interrelated like both of them have something in common all the calculus part the integrations derivatives and all those things they have in common uh, both physics and mathematics so you start with those topics which are common in both the subjects uh, I suggest you to start with all the calculus part the integrations, the derivatives, and all the calculus part. If you are strong, you know, and the trigonometry too. Once you are strong in that topics, then you can start uh, physics and mathematics with, uh, uh, you know, with a uh, with much confidence. Like you have that uh, head start in the beginning, so you can solve any questions. And uh, yes, in physics, uh, the first uh, chapter you have to read is uh, about the dimensional formulas. You know the chapter might not seem you know it might be uh, very easy for you the chapter but then you feel uh, that this chapter is very silly why is this even in the subject and even in the topic like the 11th class so uh, yes uh, you start with that topic uh, and uh, that topic is very important for the complete physics part so oh, with that like the all the topics which are there in physics are interrelated with this topic so yes start with that topic in physics first uh, once you're done with uh, the mathematics and the physics you can start reading chemistry and uh, in chemistry you have three types the physical one the organic and the inorganic chemistry and uh, I suggest you all to start with the inorganic chemistry first then go for physical chemistry and then the organic chemistry because uh, I feel like organic chemistry is uh, a bit harder than all the all, all the other two uh, topics because you know all the names and all that thing is very headache. Like, I don't I don't like it at all. So I suggest you all to start with the uh, inorganic, then you go for physical, and then the organic chemistry. Depend on you. Okay, this is my suggestion. So 
yes in chemistry you go for that and uh, mathematics as i said earlier go for the calculus part the trigonometry uh, all the derivatives and the integrations and then you can start uh, with the uh, sets uh, topic and uh, sets and relations and all that thing so yes this will be this might be helpful for you all and uh, uh about time planner like how to prepare a time planner i will be making a video on that very soon so stay tuned and uh, see you guys in the next video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more such videos see you guys in the next video till then peace out